I'm David Schneider. Here are your headlines for Tuesday, April 14th. A trial date has been set for the defendant charged in the kidnapping, rape, and torture of a Conway teen who disappeared on her way home from school in 2013. Jury selection for the case against Nathaniel Kibbe will begin March 21st at Belknap County Superior Court in Laconia. The Honorable Larry Smuckler will preside over the case. He's described as a tech savvy judge. Kibbe faces 205 charges stemming from the nine month long abduction of the teen. Convicted sex offender Richard Laws appeared back in court just days after being released from prison. Laws appears in St. Albans without an attorney on Monday, entered a plea of not guilty to a charge of driving with a criminally suspended license. But Laws says he actually wanted to plead guilty, admitting he got behind the wheel after his girlfriend had medical issues while she was driving. But Laws says the court wouldn't allow him to do so. On the money beat, Mayor Moreau Weinberger unveils a plan that he hopes will keep money in the hands of Burlington residents. People with the mayor's office outlined a collection of affordable housing initiatives that they hope to move forward with. The plan addresses regulatory barriers, expanding resources for low income housing, and strategies for housing college students. No action was taken on the housing plan, but city council members expect to vote on that on their next meeting, which will be on April 27th. And construction on Burlington's waterfront is underway. The boardwalk is closed to the public now. It's construction to install brand new mahogany planks has just begun. Just north of there, the skate park has been leveled, making way for a brand new one. And new pavement has also already been laid out on the bike path with more improvements on the way. Construction has been going on for two weeks now. Well, now that four presidential candidates, three Republican and one Democrat, have entered in the race for the White House, the question Vermonters are asking is, will independent Senator Bernie Sanders be joining them? Sanders has not yet said if he'll make a run for the White House, but that isn't stopping some hopeful supporters from cheering on the one-time Burlington mayor. Put up against Hillary Clinton, who announced her presidential plan Sunday, political analyst Garrison Nelson says that Bernie would push the Democrat out of her comfort zone. Well, thanks for checking us out on WPTZ.com or on your mobile device. Be sure to tune in to WPTZ News Channel 5 to get the very latest news and headlines of the day, starting at 5 p.m. Till then, have a great afternoon.